At Science Buddies, we have a lot of projects with moving parts, like catapults, roller coasters, and Rube Goldberg machines. Sometimes, scientists and engineers use computer simulations to help them predict how real-world physical systems like these will move. For a science project, you can make your own simulations using a physics simulator like Tinkercad Simulab. The simulation can help you predict what will happen in the real world. You can make changes in the simulation to see how they might affect the physical system. For example, let's watch the paths of the marbles when I simulate this marble run. First, keep an eye on the red marble. When I hit play, you see that it rolls over the top of this tube, which isn't really where I want it to go. I want it to go down this path. If I hit reset, we can keep an eye on the yellow marble and see that it is going too fast and also goes over the top of this tube where I would have preferred that it go this way. I can make changes in my simulation and then run it again to see what happens. Sometimes this is faster or cheaper than changing your physical prototype. For example, I'm going to add a stopper here to make the yellow marble bounce back when it reaches the end of that tube. And I'm going to change the angle of this tube slightly to hopefully make the red marble go down and not overshoot the back of this tube. After making those changes, I can switch over to my simulation and see what happened. First, keeping an eye on the red marble, we see that was successful and it didn't go over the top here. And then if I hit reset and look at the yellow marble, we should see it bounce off of this stopper and follow the correct path. This time we'll see it bounce over the back of the tube here, so I could make another change and rerun the simulation. While simulations can be useful, you have to be careful when using them because it can be difficult to simulate all of the details of the real world. Things like friction and how objects move when they bounce or collide. For example, if you watch this video closely, you'll see that the cardboard tubes tend to flex a bit as the marble moves around and bounces off of them. Whereas in the simulation, the tubes are completely rigid. For a science project, you can compare the results of a simulation with the results you get from a physical experiment. For an engineering project, you can use the simulation to help you with the design and prototyping process. For more information and a list of other Science Buddies projects you could use, check out the link in the video description. For over a thousand other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit our website, www.sciencebuddies.com dot o-r-g